Hey guys, it's Laura and for today's video I'm gonna show you three basic fall room decors in case you want to like change something in your room and I didn't spend one dollar with any of them but you may have to buy like something for one dollar or two but but in general you can do them with what you have in home and just like sometimes things for our room can get pretty expensive and if you don't want to spend that money just see this video and I'm gonna show you some ways of like doing it and yeah I hope you get some inspiration from this video and let's get started so this is how my bed looked before so the first thing I did was taking the spring pillow so for the first one you'll need a pillow a part of a moose head any fabric that you have in home and fabric paint and a sponge or a brush and for last hot glue and the scissors so start by just cutting the mousse shades and by the way you can paint a ton of these on the internet so if you didn't know where you can find these it's like on google image <laughs> once that's done just take your fabric and fold it in two and just like cut the size with the shape of your pillow I recommend to always lift like 1 or 2 inches because plus sometimes it doesn't fit. Now, hot glue the three of the two edges. Slip out the pillowcase. Now, protect the fabric, place the mousse head and with the white fabric paint, put some in a small plate and just with the sponge cover all the this will give kind of like a vintage look and an unfinished look, so... Once that's done, just take off the paper, put your pillow inside of the pillowcase, and you're done. For the next one, you'll need a pillow, uh, any circle scarf that you have, or you can also use a sweater, and for lastly, some safety pins. And this is like the easiest idea ever, it's just like another way of doing the sweater pillow, and you just use a circle scarf, and to, cl to close it, just use some sa safety pins. And that's how they turned out. I really like them, they're super easy to do, and every time you want, you can take them off. And yeah, I just really like the fall vibe that they give. Moving on to the next DIY, I'm gonna show you how to do a candle jar. Because they are quite expensive and I'm gonna show you how to do one for just like $2 or less. So what you'll need is some candles. I bought a few with color and scent and I used a lot of others that I already had in home that were quite old. And for last, a jar. I used one that I already had in home. So start by separating the candle from the like metal thing and it's super easy to take just with a knife. You can easily take everything off and just do that with a few amount of them. So at this point, you can add some scent or some food coloring to make it more personal. I didn't because my candles were already scented and they had some colors. And for last, add one of those big candles because we'll need the inside of it. Now put it in the microwave for a few minutes. Once everything is melted, just take that little thing inside of the candle and glue it on the jar. Now pour everything in the jar and and you can use a closed pin to help the thing like to get in the, her place and then just put everything in the fridge to rest. And that's the final project. I really like it. It's, it looks amazing and it, it cost me nothing. And I know you can do like such creative things with these like different variations. So yeah. And for last, I'm gonna show you how to do these super awesome like strings with photos that are really Tumblr and I really like them and they're like the easiest thing to do. So you'll need a string or Christmas lights that will be awesome too. Some clothes pins, any photos, I just print them on the on my regular print, so yeah, it's super easy. And for last plastic that you can find in any supermarket and it's super easy to use. So start by taking one piece of that plastic and put it in the end of the string and just attach that to the wall and you can just put some photos with the clothespins. It's like the easiest thing as I said but it looks super awesome.
So if you like the video, please give me a big thumbs up and also subscribe. And if you create any of these, you can send me to my Instagram or my Facebook. And I will see you next time. Bye.